Hello, welcome to Control-Alt-Grandpa, the channel where even your grandpa can become a tech wizard or at least pretend to be one. Today, we're diving into the world of fancy symbols in Google Docs. You know, the ones with hats like P-hat, X-hat and Y-hat. Not sure why these alphabets need headwear, but hey, they're stylish. So, if you've been scratching your head trying to figure out how to type these hats without summoning a math wizard, don't worry. Grandpa's got you covered. Let's jump into this super simple guide and make your math or science papers look like they graduated from Harvard. First things first, open your Google Docs. If you accidentally opened Google Search instead, don't worry, it happens to the best of us. Now, go to the Insert menu and select Equation. It's like opening a portal to the mystical land of symbols. Trust me, it's not as scary as it sounds. Once you've opened the Equation box, type backslash hat. This magical command is like saying abracadabra, but for math symbols. Now, hit the spacebar key. Boom! Your command will transform into a beautiful little hat. Think of it as conjuring a tiny wizard's cap for your letter. Now that you've summoned the hat, type any letter, uppercase, lowercase, whatever floats your boat. That letter will cozy up right under the hat, looking all academic and important. Before you get carried away, here's the most critical step. Press the right arrow key to exit the equation box. If you skip this, everything you type will be wearing hats. While that might look cool, your professor might think you're running a hat shop instead of writing an assignment. Want to go extra fancy? Use backslash wide hat instead of backslash hat. This is perfect for when your letters want a little more breathing room. It's like switching from a baseball cap to a sombrero. And that, my friend, is how you become the master of hats in Google Docs. Now go forth and type like a pro. Your math symbols will thank you. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with someone who's still stuck using a pen and paper. Until next time, stay techy and stay cheeky.